What's going on YouTube? So in this video, I am going to do a transformation, another one. I've done this video on him before and uh... Excuse me. <laughs> Rewind. Okay. Basically, it is my girl's cousin and uh, he, uh, he lives in Vegas, but he actually moved back down here and it was just a good opportunity to do another video and uh, get some content out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just trying to put some good content out there for y'all so you can learn how to cut hair and so forth. Um, so I did do a three on top with the mid ball fade, gave him a little part right there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and take care. Oh, God. Quick question for y'all. Do y'all play video games? If so, add me on Xbox sometime. I'll play with all my, my fans or I don't know if I got a lot of fans, but I'll play with anybody that, that adds me. My gamer tag would be somewhere right here. I play a lot of video games. Uh, it's what I do. I like doing that. It's get my head straight. Uh, I've been doing that ever since I was a kid. And um, yeah, so I, I play. I play Rainbow Six. I play 2K. And I play, I play GTA just a little bit. I've been starting to do that, but I play Fortnite too. I do play some Fortnite a little bit, but that's usually with people in the shop, you know, like Relly Bow and Suave Blends and Memo and Jorge. Sometimes, you know, um, but my gamer tag is somewhere right here. All right, man. Thanks, y'all. <laughs>
So for the first step, I have my cordless wall seniors and I'm making my guideline half an inch. Uh, some people, I don't know if you guys think, but why do I make my guidelines half an inch? Or how do you, how do you know where to put your guidelines? Um, I just, to, the way I do it is that I kind of make my guidelines of where I want my fade to start, you know? Because this is that the bald, you know, you're gonna have to blend out from the bald. So basically, um, wherever I want my, my blend to start, that's how big I make my, my guidelines. And also you follow your bald line because like you don't want to make it, you know, you know, uneven, you know. So you want to follow that bald line and wherever, wherever, it doesn't matter where you put your guidelines. Just make sure that it's where you want your blend to be or where you want it on the head. So to take out this bald line, I'm going to be closing my lever all the way closed. Um, basically is that I'm just flicking out I'm not really going to dig into it so I just close it and then I go halfway and then open but I do use the corners um, as you see I'm using the corner it might not look like I am really but I kind of am I'm just kind of putting the blade flat but I'm using one side more um, but you do play with your levers light a lot of people have their own way of uh, blending I have my certain way you might have your certain way others might have theirs but just uh, make sure that all the dark spots are eliminated and just uh, flick out, you know, just flick out, use corners and play with the lever a lot. So for this part, I have my one guard I'm gonna have it all the way open and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a guideline about half an inch um, you're not gonna really be able to see it that well because again I do have a one and a half you know how I did in the beginning I did a one and a half and I clip over combed it so you're not gonna really see it that well it's not really gonna make a very dark line but um, you can kind of see it just a little bit but yeah I'm making the guideline about half an inch and I'm really what I'm doing is I'm just flicking out um, I'm not trying to make a hard line whatsoever, especially um, on a fade, because I really do not like making hard lines, um, because it's really hard to take out. So, half an inch, make sure that the, uh, the lever is all the way open, especially if you want to make a guy line, make sure that your lever is open. So for this next part, I have my zero guard and I'm gonna be having the lever, I think, let me check. Open, yeah, <laughs> open. I'm gonna be having the lever open and what I'm doing is I, just flicking out, I'm using my corners a lot. Um, as you can see that it is taking it out even if I do have it open, but I'm also playing with the lever so I go halfway or open halfway and close then I do those same steps like I'm, it's like basically like my other videos um, I might say like halfway close open halfway close open so you really want to play with your lever however way that you want to but I always start out with open first and then I work my way with playing with the levers So on this next part, I have my thinning shears. And what I'm doing, I'm, I'm just really trying to make it look cool, you know? Make it look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> nah, I'm just messing with y'all. I have my, uh, I'm just doing it basically to get all the dark spots, get rid of all the dark spots. Um, so I'm just using the tip of the thinning shears, you know, just, if you see a little dark spots here and there, you want to get the edge of the comb and just kind of thin it out with the tip of the thinning shears. Cause it really does make it lighter. It just thins out the hair. Um, and it just makes it, you know, the lights, the, I mean, the dark spots turn light.
So on to the lineup. I start from the middle and I'm gonna work my way up to the side. So I always start in the middle to get that base, you know? And I go from the right and I make my way to the left. So it's either or. So you start in the middle first. You always wanna start in the middle so you get that, you know, so everything connects from the side to side. So always start from the middle of a, 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 doing the hairline because if you don't, I mean, I'm not saying that you will make the hairline crooked and one side might be higher than the other side, but it is easier and you guys are beginners are up in here or if you're not beginners, this is just a good way to help beginners do a lineup. So for this one, I am going to be doing a part on his head, you know, it's a special request, uh, you know, to try to make him look fresh. So basically, well that rhymed, <laughs> but anyways, basically, to in order to make a part on the head, you don't really want to try to make the lines crispy the first time. So what I'm saying is that you just want to make your line and then once you're done making your rough draft, then that's when you go in and finalize it, you know? Um, some people really try to worry about making their, you know, their parting or their, their parts crispy. Just make sure that you have that, that line up in there and then you go back and do it. And also make sure that you don't make the part too big, you know? Obviously nobody really wants a big part or, you know what I'm saying? So this, yeah. <laughs> So, for whoever don't know what this is, yes, this is enhancements, and yes, I do use it. Um, he don't really need it, but it really adds that extra finishing touch to it. Um, basically, if you don't know how to use enhancements, uh, I advise you to practice a lot. You're not gonna be good at the first time, but um, make sure you get like a, a business card or any type of straight edge card or whatever. And uh, just make sure that you follow the hair, the hairline, and uh, the spray. Don't spray too much. Always tap it. I actually have a airbrush machine. I don't know what it's called, but um, when I do find out, I will put it in the you know description. So, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I smell it on you. Oh, you smell it? it? Smells. I think I know what you're talking about now. Can you stop smelling me? Stop smelling me. Oh. 
breast moment. I mean, it's, it's recording. Did you record this whole thing? I, uh, let, me, let me do my thing. Why don't you stop it? I forgot. Sorry. Stop it. What's going on, YouTube? <laughs> if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also put the post notifications on. Um, I'll tell you about this channel. I, I post a lot of YouTube tutorials, and I try to do a little bit of intros and outros. Sometimes I don't do it, but I'm going to try to get too into it more, into it more. <laughs> but, uh... Also, give me a follow on Instagram. My Instagram will be somewhere right here, right here, right here, right here. I don't know. Also, um, if you have any critique if, or any criticism, same thing. Same thing. Um, if you have any, just let me know in the comment section below. I read all the comments and uh, I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. Um, like I said before, I have done a video on this kid before, but his hair was just, you know, it was everywhere so I had to do it but yeah just uh, hope y'all take care and uh